good day, folks. I thought today I'd uh, show you some what I call high-grade gold ore that I picked up today. I'll go through with you here in a few minutes. But the area I go, this is really top grade ore, or what other places it's, I don't know, I guess it varies from where you are, but I uh, brought my camera in there today to get you some pictures of the surroundings, etc. But uh, when I started to record, no fucking SIM card in it, so here we are back at home. You know, this stuff here, I always find around there, that silvery black area there on the quartz, is always find a little bit of gold in around there. There's nothing showing on, on any of this stuff right now, but a little break up and some crushing might be something in there but I found uh, quite a bit of gold in, in ore exactly like this here quite a bit that I ain't try another one here in a minute now this black shale stuff I don't know why but there's all I found uh I found big pieces of this, but it was full of gold. Little tiny specks of quartz in there, and that's pretty much it. But I do find quite a bit of gold in this stuff. And we have this stuff, where it's layered in quartz and slate. And jail or whatever the hell it is. And this was, this is really high grade ore here. I, uh, this is gold if you ever, I usually, when I find it, this stuff, I usually can see gold in it, but these couple pieces don't show anything. As I say, I'll be smacking them open later on. And there's your flat sides. This real white stuff, uh, I don't find much gold in this. Little specks here and there, but if it's got any black in it, then there's usually some gold showing or inside of it. And then we have our there was a speck of gold. I seen a speck of gold in that when I picked it up. I can't see it now. I find uh in this this here it was a really good quality ore. I usually find quite a bit of gold in this. Too. I didn't find any of that rusty quartz today, but that's usually got gold in it, so maybe next time. But here where I go, it's uh, this is the best ore, this gray color stuff. I call it an oily quartz. But there's always, always gold in this. But Say nothing showing today, except a little and so this is uh the type of war in the area I go it's that's usually pretty much all you find but you uh will come across that chalky white stuff that I've never found gold in that, never, ever, but I'm going to, I 
like this type, this type of quartz here. This is good, good ore. You got your quartz in there, and you got your shale and everything else on it. A little bit of rust. I'll break all this up over the. I mean, this is November now. So let's save a little bit for the winter time, something to do. Let's say uh, this was a nice. Uh, piece here, too. Same, I never. I wasn't very lucky today and finding anything showing gold. But Show you a nugget that I got out of a probably a piece of ore the size of these two together, almost identical. I picked up earlier late last summer, and it was showing a few specks. So I took it home and cracked it up, and I. Myself, nine, I believe, nine grams. And this is uh, this is it all take crushed out and melted down, and it comes in just under the, just a little under nine grams of gold. It's a pretty little nugget, nice and nice and yellow. Usually, the gold where I go is. 22, 24 carats. It's looking 24 to me. But it is a nice, it's a nice, nice little nugget. So, just showing you what kind of, what kind of quartz I find, and. I mean, like late 1800s, there were a lot of prospectors down there. They used to, you could still find remnants of cabins and stuff like that, and their their trenches they dug and stuff. And a lot of them are caving in now, so you have to really watch where you where you're walking. Because none of it's marked. You just. Uh, That I believe they're planning on opening that mine up down there, I guess. But it's down there today, it looks like they were drilling core samples or something, but you never know. Anyways, y'all have a nice day. And see you later. Bye.